wanted to have a tree planting ceremony. I took that as being very meaningful. So I consulted with our resident top forestry officer, I would say. Os I really did. Um, who, who knows these things? Who knows plants? Um, Osa Samuel, many of you know him. And he said, I'll get back with you. I'll choose something that is meaningful. Sometime later, he called me and he said, I have just a plant. It is called a desert rose. Look it up. He said, and he explained to me why he chose this. I said, hold on, let me get back with you. I have to consult with the family. Yeah. I sent them a picture and his, um, and as best as I could, my recollection of what he said about the plant. He said that it is very sturdy. He said it is hard to kill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll see. It grows in the most difficult of circumstances. Yes. <laughs> he said that it will flourish and it will be beautiful. Mm. And I thought that That's, is not that is only like the gospel as yes. a seed that has to flourish in even the most difficult, difficult of circumstances. Yes. But that is also um, like Passover Street. Yes. So after I, I, the plant was chosen, I went and I looked it up to see what else I could learn about it. And I learned that one of the most uh, uh, well-known things about, or should have been well-known about this plant is that it is highly adaptive. Mm -hmm. That even if you take it out of its native environment, it will adapt to the environment wow. that it is in. Wow. And that speaks so much to Passover Over Street, who, yes. taken out of his native California, adapted so well to our St. Vincent. And every time we see these plants at our doorstep, we will remember the tenacious, the resilient, adaptive uh, down our street. And whenever we see the beauty, we will remember that even in the most difficult of circumstances, that the gospel of Jesus Christ will be beautiful. Amen, amen. amen.